Hey guys, my name is Dr. Lara. Today I'm here with Mindy. Mindy's a good girl. A good girl, yes, she is. Um, so Mindy is here because the topic that we're going to be talking about is stem cells. And Mindy is about a 10 or 11 year old female dog. And believe it or not, Mindy's, both of Mindy's ACLs are torn. She's already had one surgically corrected. The other one has not been surgically corrected. And so, um, just in case, if you don't know what stem cells are, what stem cells are, are they're, they're cells that in theory could be programmed to become whatever. And so in this particular case, the, you know, with stem cells, um, when you have a torn ligament, one of the things that, I'm gonna stand up because my knees are bothering me, getting old, just turned 37 a week ago. I know, I know, I look great, stop, stop, don't really keep it coming. Anyways, um, so what ended up happening was, um, when a dog tears an ACL, usually, or damages the ACL, usually that once that, that ligament is damaged, it is what it is. Um, there was one study that was done where when they injected stem cells and PRP into a dog's knee who had a partially torn ACL, they had a 69 to 70% success rate in getting the ligament to completely heal. Now, if it's a complete tear, it's not going to go ahead and bridge the gap. But if it's a partial tear, there's a much higher likelihood that it may actually get to heal. Now, the other things that can happen with stem cells is the stem cells will go ahead and help to repair the cartilage that's being damaged and worn down um, with the instability in the joint and all the inflammation that's already been going on. The stem cells also go ahead and help reduce the inflammation in the knee as well as helping to repair that cartilage. Now, when we typically administer stem cells, we go ahead and we administer the stem cells of that very dog to itself. In this particular case, we have recently uh, joined forces with a company who offers uh, stem cell therapy through the blood. And that is a very interesting proposition because now we're able to do stem cell therapy with a minimally invasive collection instead of before we had to do a mini surgery to collect fat. The other thing is, in this particular case, Mindy got the stem cells of a nine-month-old puppy. And so the thought is, as you get older, you get less stem cells and your stem cells are not as good. And so we have noticed that she has, Mindy has had like a really remarkable recovery after we administered the stem cells. Um, and we also, and mom and dad have noticed like she's doing things that she wasn't doing before. And so my thing is that this is, I think this is a really fun and exciting time to know that we have the ability to offer stem cell therapy and in a non-invasive way, as well as being able to harvest it from a young dog and administer it to an older dog. They do do this, something like this in humans where they, they administer, they do blood transfusions um, from young people to older people um, and they call them young blood transfusions. And it's actually a pretty interesting concept and idea. Um, there's not a ton of science behind it that I'm aware of. I think they're just starting to go ahead and do that. Um, and so this is something kind of similar to that where we're collecting the blood from, or the stem cells from a young dog and administering it to an older dog. Where do you administer them though? So we administer the stem cells in the knees. Um, and then we also, and you can see that they're shaved um, by the knees. And then we also administered it in her veins. So it goes all throughout her entire body, not only uh, just to her knees. So it all will also help to repair some of the other things as well that could potentially be going on with her, like damaged livers, damaged kidneys. Um, we're even considering starting to do this with some of our patients who have senility um, to see if it'll help repair some of the brain cells. Um, so it's a really exciting time. Got any other questions for me, Abraham? No, for now. All right, guys, if you found this video helpful, please give us a, a, a thumbs up, subscribe. If you know somebody who you think should see this, uh, share it with them. Otherwise, be safe and thanks for watching.